The interface in Adobe Bridge is very flexible and can be customized quite a bit. But to save you some time, they've actually created some default workspaces that you can quickly switch back and forth between instead of having to manually drag different parts of the interface around to customize it. What we're taking a look at right now is the default workspace. It's called the Essentials Workspace. And you can see your thumbnails are displayed in the middle in a content pane or panel. There's a preview panel as well. If I click on a particular thumbnail, you'll get a slightly larger version of that image over in the preview area. And then there's another panel for viewing the metadata or the information about the files themselves in this metadata panel that you can scroll and see more information. So rather than resizing these splitters, so there's a vertical splitter to move that left and right. There's a horizontal splitter between these panels here to make that larger. And also, rather than moving these parts around manually, so anytime you see a tab, you can actually rearrange these particular sections of the interface. So if I wanted, I can move preview. Above content, you can see the blue guides kind of indicating where it's going to be inserted when you let go. So I've just clicked and dragged on the tab itself and then look for the blue feedback and let go. And you can see I've rearranged the preview above content. And then now I have a horizontal splitter between the two and I can resize that down to make the preview area a lot larger. And by default there, that also resizes the content pane. So yes, that's all great and dandy. You can do that, but it's much easier actually if you just use some of the preset workspaces included with the installation here. So let's begin by going to this little workspace switcher. It's got a little pop-up menu here at the top. And I'm going to tell it to reset the workspace back to where we started. You can see the preview panel goes back at the upper right-hand corner. And this workspace switcher can actually be expanded. If I use the pop-down menu by clicking, you can see there's a bunch of preset workspaces here that you can simply choose from in the pop-up menu. But you can also stretch out the workspace switcher to reveal more names of these workspaces. So if I drag this to the left by clicking and dragging and stretch this out, not only are these just the actual names of the workspaces, these are actual clickable buttons now as well. So for instance, if I click on the word film strip, that completely changes the workspace to these preset states here. So this is kind of exactly similar to what I just did earlier by manually dragging the preview panel around and resizing it. Rather than doing that work constantly and then getting disoriented, you can just quickly switch back and forth between these pre-built workspaces. So if I click on metadata, this is a view to seeing more about the information of the image rather than the thumbnails themselves. The output module here, the output workspace, this is if you want to create something like a contact sheet or a web photo gallery. This is a workspace for doing that particular task. If keywords are important, I want to create and apply keywords to my images. There's a workspace built for that. And then there's the preview workspace as well. Very similar to the film strip workspace, but instead of the thumbnail row being at the bottom, it's a vertical stack on the left here. And then one of my favorite workspaces is something called light table. And if I click on that, that just lets us focus only on the content itself. It gets rid of all the other panels and just temporarily hides them and puts them off to the side. And then you can just view your thumbnails and focus on that. And again, to get back and forth between these workspaces, you just simply click on the name of the workspace. Even the order that the workspaces are listed in is customizable. So if you want your favorite workspaces to be listed from left to right, you can actually click on these names and rearrange them. So if I want preview to be right after essentials, I'm just going to click on the word preview and drag it to the left so it's there. And then I can drag light table and click that right after the preview workspace. So now with just some simple clicks, I can go back and forth between my three favorite workspaces. If I don't care about these other workspaces, I'm never going to use them, let's say, I can collapse this workspace widget down to only view the three I care about. And now I've got a very quick, easy way to go back and forth between the views that are important to me. Now I'm going to give you a little extra bonus tip here. I don't actually need the light table as a separate workspace. So I'm going to squish this down to just show me essentials in preview. Let's go back to essentials here and let's collapse this down to just show me those two like so. And maybe there's a little bit of that left over there. That's okay. Because when I'm in the essentials workspace, if I want a light table view of this workspace, I can just press the tab key on my keyboard and that automatically collapses those panels off to the left and the right and just expands the content area of the workspace to take over basically the entire area. Tab will bring those panels right back. So that's even easier than taking your mouse and clicking on a different word. So there you have it. Very easy ways to go back and forth between different workspaces and you can customize it to what matters to you.